Combining youthful energy with entertainment, Hypo ensures that its World Toilet Day is show-stopping. Thank you, ma'am. All right, next up. Addressing this year's theme, Valuing Toilets, representative of the Ministry of Environment in Lagos said Nigeria needs 6,500 units of public toilets to tackle open defecation. However, this great data is grossly inadequate for a state with an estimated population of 22 million. Lagos City requires about 4,500 public toilets of minimum of eight toilet units per toilet per, by 2025. Recognizing the cluster of human activity in this area and the potential exposure to diseases, Hypo intervenes in the area of urgent need. H Y P O Hypo's brand ambassadors and brand managers speak on the potential impact of the initiative to the community. I think it's going to go a long way and they've been doing this for a very long time also, you know, because I know they go to houses and try to renovate and refurbish toilets, you know, so um, I think this is a nice one. I mean, we came here and we saw that the water body just close to this place has been turned into a toilet. People go there and do all manner of things and, you know, that alone you know, it's, it's, I mean, you know how many children die of cholera and the rest of that. So we decided to build a toilet here, to upgrade the toilet here and make sure that it's standard and open for the public to use. The beneficiaries attest to the value of the toilet infrastructure to their well-being. And I thank IPO because before IPO came to renovate the toilets, they had already messed the whole toilets up and they renovated the, the toilet at no cost. And they are even maintaining the toilet, giving us products to disinfect the place. According to the World Health Organization, there are 3.6 billion people in the world currently without safely managed sanitation. And as a result, it wants governments across the world to provide toilets for all by the year 2030.